mean, no matter the age, young, old, we know coronavirus can be devastating to people's health. Yeah, the virus can be ravaging on people otherwise quite young and healthy. A Duke doctor actually said it best. We will be coexisting with COVID-19 for a while. So the best thing you can do is avoid getting coronavirus. And this morning, we're actually getting a better understanding of what it's like to actually recover from the virus if you have to be put on a ventilator. A speech pathologist, Lindsay Duckos, uh, she sees patients after they come off a breathing tube at Duke University Health. Her job is to help people learn how to swallow and speak again. She says after a long period of time on a ventilator, your body basically loses the ability to do those simple tasks on its own. Recovery time varies patient to patient. That's where she comes in and helps. Anytime somebody is not able to communicate and we're able to help intervene in some way to help them communicate, um, regardless of their diagnosis, is fabulous. But especially in the light of, of this pandemic, where um, I feel like patients may feel a little bit more isolated because of all the, the precautions that need to take place. And she says uh, her work has really been emotional and tough during the pandemic. She credits her Duke coworkers for really working together to help people recover and get back on their to better health. One takeaway, you don't want to end up on a ventilator.